Hi friends, welcome to the channel. So today's video is related to the most important concept of differentiation that is the chain rule. Now even though it comes for just one or two marks from the final exam perspective, this concept is the core foundation concept of differentiation which is immensely useful for students of class 11, 12 diploma and even for students of engineering. So I have done 18 problems in this video and have made sure that the maximum steps are created so that even the weakest of the student gets the perfect clarity when it comes to solving the problems related to chain rule. So without wasting any time, let me start with the first problem. Y is equal to sin x square. If you are studying in class 11, your question will be just differentiate sin x square with respect to x. So the first step is equating the question to y, equating the question to y and then differentiating with respect to x. See, y is equal to sin x square. Now, we know the problem of or the differentiation answer of what is the differentiation of sin x? It is cos x. So anything apart from x will activate the chain rule concept. Remember like this. Anything apart from the normal formula implementation will activate the chain rule concept. So how are you supposed to implement it? So I am differentiating y which represents the question with respect to x. So after sin whatever comes don't bother. After sin whatever comes don't bother. You just write it as is. Sin of x square, the differentiation is cos of x square means sin of whatever comes next apart from x, the differentiation is cos of whatever comes from it apart from x. Did you get it? Into differentiation of the unique value. Did you get it? This is a two level chain problem. Two level chain problem. I am again telling it. Since it is not a direct formula implementation because differentiation of sin x is cos x. But the differentiation of sin x square is cos x square only because we will be differentiating x square again separately into differentiation of x square. Did you get it? So chain rule usually gets complemented in one step. So this is already a part of the answer. Differentiation of x square for those students who don't know the basic version. This is the formula and without knowing the formula how are you supposed to do it? This is there is a base x and a number in the power position. So you write the power first. Then write the question again, then decrement the power by 1 if you don't want to remember the formula. Did you get it? So it is 2x power 2 minus 1 which is nothing but 2x. Now, when you write answers, you have to write answers in an ethical way. First you have to see whether any negative symbol is there because symbol will be written first, then followed by number, followed by algebra, followed by cos x square which is nothing but trigonometry. Did you get it? A two level chain problem. Going to the second question, y is equal to tan of 2x minus 3. Remember, we know the differentiation of tan x is secant square x. What it is? Secant square x. So anything apart from that x will activate the chain rule. So y is equal to tan of whatever comes after that. We are not bothered because we are going to anyhow differentiate it separately. So the differentiation of y which represents the question with respect to x is tan of whatever is there within the bracket. The differentiation is secant square of whatever is there within the bracket into differentiation of what is there within the bracket. Did you get it? That is again a two level chain problem. Second square of 2x minus 3 into differentiation of 2x minus 3. Differentiation of x is 1, 2 which is associated with the differentiable element in multiplication format will survive else it is a constant. So 2 into 1 and this minus 3 does not have any x or differentiable element appended to it in multiplication division format. So it will become 0. Basically differentiation of a constant is 0. That is the answer. So again symbol nothing is there 2 into 1 number first and second square of 2x minus 3 as it is. Did you get it? Moving to the next problem. Yes. Y is equal to sin of cos of x square. See the way I am telling the problem. Y is equal to sin of cos of x square. It indicates it is a three level chain problem. See, you have to start with the outermost value. Sin of whatever is there within the bracket or whatever comes after sin is taken as an x. Did you get it? And what is the differentiation of sin x cos x? So, sin of whatever comes after that, the differentiation is cos of whatever comes after that. Did you get it? By doing that like that, I have taken care of this. Now let us go inside. Into differentiation of cos x square. Did you get it? This is also not a direct formula. Correct? As long as you do not get the implementable formula, you are supposed to go on continuing chain rule concept. Into differentiation of cos x square till here and last into differentiation of x square. You have to stop where the 
value has a differentiable element so this is a three level chain again i am telling sign of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is cause of whatever is there within the bracket by doing like that i have taken care of sign then differentiation of only cos x square then differentiation of only x square did you get it now this part is sorted out this is differentiation of cos x square remember we know the differentiation of cos x as minus sin x correct so cos of whatever comes after that if it is not x the chain rule will be activated so cos of whatever is there after the value the differentiation is minus sin of whatever is here you should not be bothered about that minus sin of x square got it into because why because we are again going to differentiate it separately into differentiation of x square which i have done in the previous problem 2x power n minus 1 or 2x power 2 minus 1 did you get it so differentiation is done now comes the ethical part of ethical way of writing the problem writing the answer there is only one minus write it as it is number next algebra next and trigonometry you can write in any order so cos of cos x square into sin x square did you get it this is a three level chain problem what it is three level going to the next question y is equal to sin of x square plus pi by the way i am telling you will be able to make out it's a two level problem y is equal to sin of x square plus pi i told in the first problem sin of whatever is there within the bracket if it is not x it will activate the chain rule so sin of x is cos x sin of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is cause of whatever is there within the bracket did you get it because we are going to differentiate whatever is there within the bracket separately did you get it so this is directly sorted out differentiation x square for the nth time is nothing but 2x square 2 minus 1 and differentiation of a constant which does not have a differentiable element in multiplication division format is 0 did you get it differentiation is done as usual write the number first algebra next and then the trigonometry did you get it coming to the fifth question y is equal to cos of sin x a two level chain problem right cos of sin x cos of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is minus sin of whatever is there within the bracket because we are going to differentiate what is there within the bracket separately into differentiation sin x which is nothing but cos x this itself is the answer minus sin of sin x into cos x next is y is equal to sin of ax plus b sin of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is what cos of whatever is there within the bracket into differentiation of the bracket separately you are supposed to stop differentiation the moment you start having a direct formula implementation so cos of x plus b as it is a into differentiation of x is 1 and b which is a constant does not have the support of a differentiable element in multiplication division format will become 0 this itself is the answer so it is a cos of a x plus b did you get it coming to the seventh question y is equal to secant of tan of root x this is a three level chain problem now we know the normal formula of differentiation of secant x is secant x tan x but here apart from x there is something else which will activate the differentiation chain rule concept so secant of whatever is there within the bracket which represents x differentiation of differentiation is secant of what is there in the bracket into tan of what is there in the bracket that is secant of tan root x into tan of tan root x by doing like that i have differentiated or given justice to the function as a whole now i'll come inside what it is i'll come inside into differentiation of only tan of root x remember this is also a value apart from x so i have to go again inside into differentiation of only root x now we'll stop here why because root x has a direct formula implementation of 1 by 2 root x yes second of tan of root x into tan of tan root x is already part of the answer what is the differentiation of tan of root x tan x differentiation is secant square x so tan of whatever is come is coming after that the differentiation is secant square of whatever is there here actually did you get it into differentiation of root x which is nothing but 1 by 2 root x did you get it this is a three level chain problem again y is equal to cos of root x this is a direct formula two level chain problem so cos of whatever comes after that we are not bothered if it is a any value apart from x chain rule will be activated so cos of whatever comes after that or cos of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is minus sign of whatever is there within the bracket because we are again going to differentiate what is there within the bracket separately into differentiation sign, sign of root x is how much into differentiation root x is 1 by 2 root x so minus sin root x into 1 is minus sin root x whole divided by 2 root x 
dedicated a three level chain problem a two level chain problem now this one is a very unique problem okay so till now you are facing problems like y is equal to cos of x square but what if a number comes between trigonometry and his constant then in that case that will be taken as x power n now what is the differentiation of x power n it is n x power n minus 1 now what is n n is obviously the power and x is nothing but cos x power 5 did you get it that's the trick here so differentiation what actually n x power n minus 1 which is 7 cos power 7 minus 1 remember the subtraction has to happen between the trigonometry and its constant and x power 5 is written as it is no trick in this did you get it after that once you have given justice to the power remove him out of the picture now what is visible cos of x power 5 correct now so differentiate it separately cos of x power 5 after that differentiate x power 5 you will say sir why we did not stop here because anything apart from x will activate the chain rule to proceed further so we have to go again deeper so differentiate x power 5 this has a formula implementation so we will stop here actually did you get it so this is sin cos power 6 7 minus 1 which will be written in between trigonometry and its constant and x power 5 not touched now cos of x power 5 cos of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is minus sign of whatever comes after that as it is and differentiation x power 5 for those students whose foundation is weak or who don't want to learn the by heart the formula the trick is write the power first then write the question again then decrement the power by 1 did you get it that is 5 x power 4 now there is 1 minus here write minus 7 into 5 is 35 then x power 4 is there as it is trigonometry you can write in any order cos uh, x power 5 whole power 6 into sin of x power 5 did you get it now comes the exponential problems y is equal to e power x square now differentiation and integration the only formula which remains same is e power x because differentiation of e power x is e power x even integration of e power x is e power x itself so how do you take care of it actually so y is equal to e power whatever is here we are not bothered y is equal to e power whatever is there in the power position you write the question as it is so whenever you are having an exponential with a weird power write the question as it is e power x square only then differentiate the power what it is then differentiate the power this is how you you are supposed to solve exponential related problem did you get it the moment you get e power some weird value write the question as it is e power x square only then just go to differentiate the power into differentiating x square so e power x square as it is this is again the same one if for those students who don't want to learn the formula write the power first then write the question again then decrement by 1 that is 2x power 2 minus 1 which is 2x so number first algebra next then exponential 2x into e power x square did you get it this is easy one coming to the 11th problem this is a very good question my mistake yeah y is equal to cos x cube into sin square x power 5 did you get it there are multiple trigonometric functions there is a cos x cube here there is a trigonometric function and again there is a trigonometric function and both are separated by multiplication symbol which activates the product rule did you get it so this will hold the position of 1 this will hold the position of 2 for those students who don't know the product rule keeping first constant differentiate second plus keeping second constant differentiate first we are yet to do differentiation we will be applying the product rule first did you get it so keeping first constant differentiate the second that is cos x cube into differentiation of sin x sin square x power 5 with respect to x plus keeping second constant sin square x power 5 don't touch it into differentiation of first which is differentiation of cos x cube now cos x cube will be written as it is this is like the previous problem which we did did you get it if there is a number coming between trigonometry and its constant then x power n concept will be activated so you have to first give justice to this which will be nx power n minus n so, so write the power first then write sign as it is then decrement the power by 1 2 minus 1 then don't touch the x power 5 did you get it by doing like that i have eliminated or given justice to the power now it is out of the picture what remains after the power is gone sign and x power 5 sign and x power 5 so into differentiation of sin of x power 5 again any value apart from x will activate the chain rule so we have to go ahead into differentiation of only x power 5 remember we just did till here it is a long one actually got it let's go ahead plus sin square x power 5 don't touch it 
into differentiation cos x cube. This is a two level chain problem. What is the differentiation of cos x? It is minus sin x. So, so cos of whatever is there apart from x will activate the chain rule. So cos of x cube is minus sin of x cube. Did you get it? Into differentiation of only x cube. Did you get it? Now don't touch this cos x cube x it, as it is. My mistake. Cos x cube into 2 sin 2 minus 1 is anyhow 1 only 2 sin x power 5 into differentiation of sin x power 5 is what actually cos x power 5 did you get it and differential x power 5 is 5 x power 4 then don't touch sin square x power 5 minus sin x power 3 don't touch it and differential x power 3 is nothing but 3 x power 3 minus 1 for those students who don't want to remember the formula write the power first write the question again then decrement the power by 1 that is 3 x power Got it. After this, it's the final answer rating. If there is a number, try to multiply. 5 into 2 is 10. Then there is an x power 4. Then write the trigonometric function in any order. Again, here plus into minus is minus. There is one number 3. And uh, x square, my wife has forgotten to return it. That is 3x square. Then write the trigonometry in any order. Sin square x power 5 into sin x cube. Did you get it? So this is a product rule with a chain rule concept. Moving to the next question. This is a good question y is equal to 2 root of cot x square. Did you get it? <coughs> Sorry. So, this 2 anyhow won't bother and it will survive because it is associated with differentiable element in multiplication format. So, 2 is a watchman, don't touch him. Now, the first justice which you are supposed to give is to this root. What it is? To this root. We know the differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x. The shortcut is whenever you have root and x, the answer will be half and the question will be shifted to the denominator. That is how you are supposed to remember it as a shortcut actually. Now, root is there but there is an element apart from x which will activate the chain rule. So, root of whatever is there within the bracket, the differentiation is 1 by 2 root of whatever is there within the bracket. Did you get it? By doing like that, I have given justice to the root. Now, this is a rootless value. Did you get it? Into differentiation of only cot x square. Did you get it? We are supposed to go ahead. Why? Because anything apart from x will activate the chain rule to go deeper. Into differentiation of just x square. Did you get it? So, this part is here 2 and 2 will cut anyhow. So, you just left with 1 by root of cot x square. What is the difference in cot x? Minus cosecant square x. So, differentiation of cot x square is minus cosecant square x square and we will be differentiating x square again separately which is 2x power 2 minus 1. Did you get it? So, plus into minus is minus 2x as it is cosecant square x square in the numerator and root of cot x square in the denominator. Got it? This is how you take care of root. 13th one. 13th one, the first is related to the exponential. What I told in the, this one, e power x is the only formula which remains as it is, even if you differentiate or integrate. So, whenever you are having e exponential and a weird power, write the question as it is, write the question as it is. Then differentiate the power separately, differentiate the power separately. What is the differentiation sign in inverse x? It is a direct formula which is 1 by root of 1 minus x square. Over oh, answer is done, e power sin inverse x into 1 by root of 1 minus x square. Going to the 14th question, y is equal to log of cos of e power x. Log of cos of e power x. Now, what is the differentiation log x 1 by x? If you don't want to remember the formula, log is a very egoistic guy. So, whatever comes after log, no, he kicks him to the denominator. What it is? He kicks him to the denominator. So, after log, what is there? Cos of e power x, right? He will be kicked to the denominator. By doing like that, log has been given justice. Now it's time to go inside into differentiation of cos of e power x. You will say sir, let's stop here. No, no. as long as there is any value apart from x, chain rule will be activated to go again down. So into differentiation of e power x. Yes, this has got a direct formula implementation. It will survive. So this is taken care of differentiation of cos of whatever is there within the bracket is minus sign of whatever is there within the bracket as it is. Into differentiation e power x I told it is the only formula which remains same for both in differentiation and integration. Differentiation of e power x is e power x only. Answer is done. So it is minus here then sin of e power x into e power x whole divided by cos of e power x. So sin of e power x by cos of e power x is nothing but tan of e power x. Sin x by cos x is nothing but tan x. Did you get it? 
And to the next prompt is a very good question. Basically, all questions are good. <laughs> y is equal to sine of tan inverse of e power minus x. This is a four level chain problem. Sine of tan inverse of e power minus x. First, let's start with the outermost guy. Sine of whatever is there within the bracket, the differentiation is cause of whatever is there within the bracket because I am going to differentiate what is there in the bracket separately. Let's go deeper into differentiation of tan inverse of e power minus x. Did you get it? Still the justice is not served. Into differentiation of only e power minus x. Still there is not a direct form implementation. Into differentiation of only minus x. This has got a direct formula implementation. Four level chain problem. So, this is not an issue. This will be a part of the final answer itself. Cause of tan inverse of e power minus x. Now, let me come to here. How do you take care of this? Tan inverse of e power minus x. First of all, the formula of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square. Now, the trick is x becomes x square here. 1 by 1 plus remains as it is. Did you get it? And what is there in place of x here? It is e power minus x. What it is? e power minus x. So, if x can become x square here, then 1 by 1 plus. So, this will be 1 by 1 plus. So instead of x, what is there here? e power minus x whole square. By doing like that, I have taken this function also as a whole. Now, what is the differential e power x? It is e power minus x only. e power minus x is e power minus x only. Why? Again, you are differentiating the power. Into differential minus x is minus 1. Here, we have finished the chain rule implementation. Four level chain problem. So, now comes the ethical way of writing answer. There is a one negative symbol right here as it is. Then e power minus x. Then cos of tan inverse e power minus x in the numerator. Then 1 plus e power minus 2x. Did you get it? Yeah. Some easy time pass questions to help you gain your confidence. Y is equal to log of log x. I told you log is a very egoistic guy. Whatever comes after log, he is kicked down. So, he is out of the picture. Again, whatever comes after log, he is also kicked down. This is how you remember log concept. Did you get it? So, log of whatever is there within the bracket, look at the logic. He comes down. So, it is nothing but 1 by log x. So again, into differentiation log x. He is again ego, is egoistic guy. He also will be kicked down. So, it is 1 into 1 is 1. Log x into x is x log x. Don't write log x square. Did you get it? x log x. 17th one y is equal to cos of log x plus e power x again a two level chain problem so differentiation of cos of whatever is there within the bracket the differentiation is minus sign of whatever is there within the bracket that is minus sign of log x plus e power x into differentiation of the bracket separately royal treatment got it now these are direct formula implementation what is the differentiation log x it is 1 by x and this is e power x is e power x only so the answer will be minus sine of log x plus e power x into 1 by x plus e power x did you get it this is an interesting question last question of this video y is equal to root of e power root x. Now, I told whenever root comes, he should be given first priority. So, how do you take care of root x differentiation? It is nothing but 1 by 2 root x. Basically, this root x will be kicked down and a half will be appended to it. That is how you remember the formula. So, root of whatever is there within the bracket, the differentiation is 1 by 2 root of whatever is there within the bracket into differentiation of the rootless value, which is e power root x. Did you get it? This is also not a direct formula, right? into differentiation of power. I told you when you are facing problems related to exponential with a weird power, you write the question as it is, then differentiate the power separately. That is what is happening. Did you get it? So, 1 by 2 root of e power root x, do not touch it. Differentiation e power root x is e power root x only and differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x. 1 into e power root x into 1 is e power root x, then 2 into 2 is 4, root of e power root x into root x. Do not try to multiply this. Did you get it? Yes. So, hopefully you understood today's video. I will see you tomorrow with a new video and for online and offline classes, student parent counselling, college guest lectures, contact me on the number 805081433. See you tomorrow students. Till then, take care.